In the mid-70s, Congress saw a need to draw RESPA in response to some abusive practices that had developed in some areas of the country. The idea behind RESPA was to combat these abusive practices by providing consumers with more accurate and timely information about the settlement process for residential mortgage loans. RESPA protects borrowers by educating them about all costs that will be associated with the loan transaction, making them more astute when shopping for settlement services. RESPA was set up to accomplish the following through education and provision. More effective advanced disclosure to home buyers and sellers of settlement costs, the elimination of kickbacks or referral fees that tend to unnecessarily increase the cost of certain settlement services, as well as a reduction in the amounts home buyers are required to place in escrow accounts to ensure the payment of real estate taxes and insurance. A mortgage loan originator is required by RESPA to provide disclosures to the applicant before, upon, and after acceptance of an application regarding the terms and costs associated with the loan. Let's take a look at some of those disclosure requirements. Under RESPA, MLOs are required to provide the borrower a list of home ownership counseling organizations. In fact, all borrowers who apply for a federally related mortgage must be given a, wrist, uh, a written list of 10 HUD approved home ownership counseling organizations in their area within three business days of application. However, there is no requirement for the borrower to take counseling to obtain their loan. MLOs are also required under RESPA to provide the borrower a copy of the special information booklet. This is known as the Your Home Loan Toolkit as published by the CFPB. This special information booklet was created by the CFPB for lenders and brokers to pass on to purchase applicants with information outlined in Section 2604, such as a description and explanation of the nature and purpose of each cost incident to a real estate settlement, an explanation and sample of the standard real estate settlement forms developed and prescribed under the title, a description and explanation of the nature and purpose of escrow accounts when used in connection with loans secured by a residential real estate, an explanation of the choices available to buyers of residential real estate and selecting persons to provide necessary services incident to a real estate settlement, and an explanation of the unfair practices and unreasonable or unnecessary charges to be avoided by the prospective buyer with respect to a real estate settlement. Additionally, MLOs must provide the booklet either by hand delivery or by mail within three business days after receiving the application from the potential borrower. However, the mortgage loan originator does not have to provide the booklet if the application is denied within the three business day period.